Malizeira was invited by Richard Nixon, and that's his policy, uh, the political talk. If, if there are bills going to the PTSD, those who incur those bills, discharge. Uh, Opposition leader Dr. Keith Rowley on Monday responding to statements that the PNM could lose Balize House if the party does not pay outstanding bills to the PTSC. Housing Minister Dr. Rudal Munilal says the People's National Movement had chartered these buses to transport supporters to meetings in the lead up to the May 24th general elections but never paid. On Wednesday, the Housing Minister said he has documents to show that so far the PNM owes PTSC more than $100,000. Dr. Rowley will have to organize his resources to pay PTSC or else PTSC could contemplate legal action against him. They are compiling uh, what we understand to be uh, above uh, $100,000 in, in, um, in payments and so on for charter and buses and so on use. Dr. Monilal says the PNM must be fully aware of the cost the party incurred from the rental of the buses and it will be unfair for them not to pay. He says officials at Balize House will receive the bill within a week. They can expect in a couple of days to, um, to receive their bill. Uh, they should be receiving that bill during the emancipation um, holiday season. I don't think that bill will emancipate them, but um, it may bind them to, to payment. So that is something that they will receive. He cautions, though, that the figure may be higher than $100,000, but says a final figure can only be determined after the PTSC accountants analyze the available paperwork. He agrees this matter has again raised the need for campaign financing legislation and is promising the People's Partnership government will look at the issue during their first term in office. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.